As we take a look at some of our weather headlines, we are still battling that area of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Today it's sitting just off to our northeast and tomorrow it'll start moving a little farther away, but still influencing our weather just a little bit. As we head toward the first day of summer, we are expecting a couple of nice dry days, also seasonable temperatures, but that changes quickly. By the end of the week, we start off a stretch of warm, humid and stormy weather that could last into next week. So. The first day of summer is actually officially on Wednesday, Wednesday at 1057 AM. Wednesday is looking like a dry day. I think we'll have a little bit more sun, but uh, 78 degrees is pretty much about normal, and we should actually hit 80 by Thursday. But we are going to be tracking this area of low pressure that's lingering across the southeastern U.S. Now, at the moment, this is actually an upper level low, and then there's a high pressure system sitting off to its north that's blocking it and keeping it across the deep south. By the end of the week, this thing's going to open up a little bit and come up to Toward New England, and that's going to bring us an increasing chance for rain. In the near term, though, we have our area of low pressure sitting up toward Quebec that's producing some cloud cover, especially each afternoon. We've got the clouds that have built up, not really seeing any wet weather, though, which is good news if you have some outdoor plans. Taking a look at year 24, there's still a very low chance for a sprinkle, but it's unlikely. I think the rest of the night stays dry. We'll have partly cloudy skies into this evening, and then skies will turn mostly cloudy overnight. Some areas of low cloud cover and fog, temperatures falling back to the middle 50s, so it's cool, it's comfortable. You can definitely open up the windows. Now, tomorrow morning, I do think we are going to see a decent amount of cloud cover, some breaks of sunshine on and off throughout the day, but tomorrow we'll call partly to mostly cloudy. Temperatures should be getting back toward the lower and middle 70s, but we may see a few isolated showers or even a weak thunderstorm develop. They never really materialize today. There is a chance they do tomorrow, a slightly better chance, but it's definitely not going to be a washout. Just keep an eye to the sky. Temperatures tomorrow climbing back to the mid 70s, still below normal. Again, a couple of showers for the afternoon. Nothing too intense coming through. Temperatures will be in the 70s for us, but 60s again out toward the coast due to a sea breeze. That will start to change, though. On Wednesday, as that upper level low finally starts pushing away, we warm up here in western Mass, but out toward the coast, temperatures still in the 60s. They'll have a little bit of a sea breeze influence, but overall everybody continues to trend a little bit nicer weather wise. Now humidity is still in that comfortable range 50s, which is pleasant. It actually gets a little bit lower for Wednesday and Thursday, so we'll have some cool mornings and warm afternoons as high pressure takes over. But as we head toward the upcoming weekend, dew points are going to take a run at 70. We haven't been that humid yet this season, so it looks like summer is going to start off as it should. Uh, the summer muggies are going to come right back into the forecast. I think we'll start feeling it on Friday. The morning looks quiet. The morning looks dry, increasing humidity with a chance for a couple of showers toward the end of the day, but Friday weather wise is still looking OK, but chances for rain will increase this weekend. Both Saturday and Sunday afternoons will have pop up showers and thunderstorms, and those shower chances are looking likely into early next week. But temperatures will be warm, lower to middle 80s expected Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So in between the showers and storms, you might be able to get away with some decent weather. Upper 70s and showers through mid next week, and it looks like some improvement by the end of the week. Chris, back to you.